Cecile here. Today we are going to make some chocolate chip cookies. Now, you are welcome to make these cookies along with me, but you need to make sure it is okay with your parents. Do not do this unsupervised. Now, you are going to need some ingredients. Some ingredients that you are going to need are flour, eggs, butter, baking soda, vanilla, chocolate chip cookies, and salt. You will also need two mixing bowls, and you will need something to mix with. Okay, make sure that you start your oven at 350 degrees. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to melt my butter. Now, this recipe that I'm following, I will go ahead and post this too, but I'm gonna double my recipe. Now this recipe calls for eight tablespoons of butter. Now since I'm doubling it, I'm going to add those together. So eight plus eight, I know equals 16. So I have both my sticks of butter here. I'm going to put them in a bowl and I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about, 30, to, 30 seconds to a minute to see if it's melted. So you want your butter melted. There were a couple things that I forgot to mention. So make sure that you guys wash your hands before you start. You wanna get all those germs off. And so in, in addition to white sugar, you are also going to need brown sugar. All right, so I have my butter melted. Let's see if I can show you. Yep, I got my butter melted. Now I am going to add, let's see, it says, a half cup of white sugar. Now, since I am doubling my recipe, I know I need two half cups of white sugar, and I know that a half plus a half equals one whole, so I need one cup of white sugar. All right, so here's my white sugar. There's my one cup. Now, I also need one fourth cup packed white brown sugar. Now again, I'm doubling my recipe. So one fourth cup and one fourth cup makes a half a cup. Now let's see, I did not get a half a cup out, but I can use this. All right, half a cup. Now half a cup packed means that you need to pack it down so it's nice and tight there. How about that? I got just a half a cup. All right, so you're gonna add that in. Now you are going to mix this for only a few seconds. You don't wanna over mix it because then your cookies are gonna be stiff. All right, see how I only mixed it for a few seconds? It's nice and creamy. And so my next step now is going to be to add the vanilla and the egg. So I need one teaspoon vanilla. Now again, since I'm doubling my recipe, I'm going to do two teaspoons vanilla. And actually, this is our secret. So this vanilla is from Mexico, and it is the best vanilla ever. This is what makes my cookies taste so good. But if you, have, if you don't have vanilla from Mexico, that's okay. They're still gonna be delicious because they have chocolate chips in them. So very carefully, one teaspoon, two teaspoons. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my egg. So it asks for one egg, but again, I'm doubling my recipe. So I'm going to add two eggs. Move this out of the way. Now be careful when you're cracking your egg. You don't wanna get any shells in there. Uh-oh, I got a shell in there. We'll have to get that out. And get this little shell out. Got it. All right, now I have some eggs on my hands, so I'm going to wash my hands because you do not want raw eggs on your hands. So they are going to make you sick if you touch your face or you eat them. Not good. So I'm going to go over here and wash my hands now. All right, so we are going to mix this together. Now you do not want to over mix this because it'll make your cookies not as great as they can be. So only a few seconds till it's all incorporated in. All right, again, just a few seconds. All right, now you are going to use a new bowl. I had set my 
got my mixture and my mixer over there aside, and I'm using a new bowl. So now we are going to add flour. Now this recipe calls for one and one half, one and a half cups of, of flour. Now I'm doubling my recipe, and I know one, I know one and one half plus one and one half equals three. So I'm going to do three cups flour. So then I also need a half teaspoon of baking soda. Again, I am doubling my recipe, so a half and a half make a whole. So I have my one teaspoon of baking soda. Now you don't want too much baking soda. There's my one teaspoon of baking soda. All right, now I am going to get a spoon and I'm going to mix this together. All right, now you are going to add the salt. It calls for a fourth teaspoon of salt, but again, I am doubling my recipe and a fourth and a fourth equal a half. So I'm gonna pour a half a teaspoon of salt into my flour and baking soda mixture. And then I'm gonna stir it up again, make sure it's nice and mixed. Baby Weston is waking up from his nap. I'm gonna have to go grab him here in a second. All right, now you are going to pour your sugar and egg and everything you have over here into this bowl. All right. And now we're gonna mix this up. If you have any flowers on the side of the bowl, make sure to get a spoon and scrape it. You want to get all of that mixed in together. Now that I have this mixed, I am going to add my chocolate chips. Now, this recipe calls for three fourths cup chocolate chips, but I like to add a little extra because I love chocolate. So. so I measure my chocolate chip with my eyes. Chocolate chip. All right, now I'm going to mix this up again. All right, now you want to make sure that you get out all of the dough from your mixers. You do not want to waste any of that. Now, I know it's tempting to want to eat this cookie dough because I love cookie dough, but this will get you sick because it has raw eggs in it. And actually, did you know that flour is raw too? So you do not want to get sick. All right, before I get my cookie sheets out and start rolling these into balls, I'm going to clean up my mess over here. All right, before you start rolling your cookies into little balls and putting them on their baking sheets, make sure that you have clean hands. I need to go wash my hands. All right, so you are going to be ro rolling these into balls. Now you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. Let's see, I'm gonna make mine a decent size. to definitely wash your hands really well. All right, I am going to put my cookies in the oven for about 
maybe 10 minutes. You want to do it between 9 and 12 minutes. You don't want to overcook them because then they'll be hard. Now while all your cookies are cooking, you want to clean up your area. Make sure to wipe it down. I got some flour and some chocolate chips on my counter. I'm going to wipe it down and I'm going to sweep the floor. All right, my cookies just came out of the oven. And, ooh, that way. They look awesome. I can't wait to try them. Now make